Hi, recording and live transcript. Thank you. Uh, so if, if you're interested in, in anybody interested in, in facilitating next week, question, anybody? It's usually pretty straightforward. Again, we offer support. It's a good way to get involved in the project or this working group. And we have a guide to help you, like a little page of documentation on how to facilitate. Very nice. I'm a, I'm a professor, so I can just live with awkward silence for a <laughs> long time, long, long can, time. Oh, I'm not sure if you can hear me, but I can do it. Excellent. Thank you, Christy. <laughs> spell your name there you go got it and christy like i said i can i'll help with um like agenda setting and all that kind of stuff like if you have if there's things that that maybe we should talk about all right well great um see some some new people on the call so i'd just like to say welcome to to newcomers it's great to have you here um feel free to to speak up feel free to just listen in you can have your camera on, you can have your camera off, um, all sorts of options for you for this, this DEI meeting. All right, so let's, um, last time we didn't really get to uh, pull requests and our issues. So let's, why don't we take a look at those? I'll share my screen here. All right, so we can take a look at pull requests and see if we have anything that really requires attention. I don't have a huge agenda today. So um, code of conduct and event demographics. And I think we had, Kevin was also gonna take a look at time inclusion for virtual events. I, this is under pull requests and Sean was gonna take a look at family friendliness. Sean did we, not. We merged, we merged time inclusion for uh, events uh, okay. last week. Uh, code of conduct is my current action item. Okay. Uh, the pull request that there that's there currently is only a only partially resolves the uh, review. It uh, it handles a formatting issue with the uh, uh, bullet points. So. Okay. So Kevin, do you, is it? Do you think we should? merge this one just to take care of that and then do another one for content stuff or uh we could i mean this this just resolves a formatting issue so it uh it doesn't handle any of the content i do have an action item to do the content okay uh i don't think there would be i don't think there's any issue with with merging this now okay uh however uh, I think in, in the past we about about the process we had we had stated some desire to kind of do it all together, uh, but it, it doesn't matter to me. Thoughts from anybody else? Yeah, Why don't we you, let's move my action item to the next uh, meeting. I will take care of that. Okay. Um, Kevin, let, for that point, then why don't, we'll just keep this open. You know what I mean? Sure. And yep. you can work off of that one. So sorry I missed that. So the time inclusion for virtual events was merged into what? Uh, the the change request was accepted. Oh oh, it was merged. <laughs> it was done. <laughs> sorry, not merged into something else. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So that one actually has been reviewed. Uh, okay. We we should have made a note of that in the minutes. Uh, I got it now. Well, it's, it should have been. We should have made a note of that in the uh, the uh, table as well, the, the metrics table. Yeah, we can do that. Uh, and then the other action item on that is that we needed to let the translation people know that that one changed. Okay. Uh, and that one might actually. Oh, this is updated. We're good. Okay. At least here anyway. So remarks. Um, so we do need to let the translation people know, but I don't know what the, we haven't really talked about that process. Do we want to, do we want to let them know each time one gets done or do we want to let them know after the process is completed? It's a good question. Good question. Yeah. Um, I guess my, my, 
my initial thought was just one at a time, but now that when you say it, like maybe it's a little bit more uh, uh, like thoughtful to just do one P or one issue that says here are the metrics. <laughs> here are the metrics that need to be revisited. I think that was the two options you were kind of proposing. Yeah, and, and there's there's a little bit of distinction too with whether some of these metrics that we are revisiting may be sent back to review. So that would be a little bit different as well. Okay, so I'm, I don't know what other people's thoughts are, but at least my inclination is for the metrics that are not Something, something like that. Yeah. And then metrics that are going back under review. A single issue per metric. I like it. Okay. So we should probably then like for for our own <laughs> well-being probably we need to track what will be in you're muted kevin but we need to track like all of the metrics that would be in that one issue so we should be tracking that in the table so we can do that so so this would be like maybe a remark could be include in um what should we call it Re not review um, is there is there some way we could just mark that date of last review like put a t there what would that mean translate oh um something along those lines, yeah. just to make it super easy. Oops. Okay, so basically at this point, the way I would read this is these three metrics, and I think only those three at this point, would be in a single issue given to the translation or put into the translation repo that says time inclusion or I'm sorry inclusive experience at event has been minorly modified please see changes same for this and same for this okay okay any other thoughts on that from people So just so people know, basically, again, we're the green rows here represent released chaos metrics. And some of these metrics are pretty old, meaning like a couple years old. And we're spending time really during the summer to review some of those older metrics. And so how this reads is inclusive experience at event has been reviewed and any of those suggested changes have been merged into the metric. Um, we just need to make sure that any of those changes are now also translated um, into Chinese. All right, good. Thank you, Kevin. Um, need to make sure. I need to. All right. Okay. Um, and then Sean, you said you were going to take a look at family friendliness for next yeah, week. Yeah, yep. I made a note in my planner this time. Okay, great. Thank you. So. All right. Uh, let's. Any other comments on any? Let's. Do we have any other PRs?
Where's my brain? Oh, there it is. Um, did what did does did we look at this one last time? An issue template. Uh, so the this this file was edited in the value working group. Uh, and the changes were reviewed, so I could replace it right now if you'd like. Uh, I wasn't sure on that process, so we we were uh, in the uh, in the community repo. We were going to add these templates to the uh, mm. there. Yep. As that as that single point of truth, mm -hmm. uh, and then at that point we either need to go and uh, copy it from there into all of the repos or ask each of the working groups to uh to update it to go grab it uh it's not a it wouldn't be terribly difficult to just go through and make all the changes ourselves uh if that's the case we could just i could just take that uh i think the uh the template that's in value right now is the is the one that uh is the most up to date okay and so this template is this is a PR. I'm not even really sure what this. It's a PR against an old template. So like we should probably just close this PR without merging. Oh, I'm sorry. I, yeah, I didn't. Oh, it was this the this was the PR that. Uh, I'm sorry. I thought you were. I thought you were looking at the. Uh, uh, I didn't realize you were looking at the PR. I thought you were reading that off of the. Uh, no. Uh, the, actually, meet, the meeting minutes. So in the meeting yeah. minutes, there's a, there's a line about the, the template as well. Okay. Well, this one, this one, this is a PR that has a bunch going on in it anyway. So it has metrics release candidate. Uh, so I would, I would say no on accepting this pull request. Well, it's got a couple things too. I don't normally from a pull request perspective, I only like it against one markdown. You know what I mean? yeah uh so, so ideally this if once this uh once this template is in community i mean yeah. ideally that's where that pull request would occur for for edits of this sort yeah. okay so i had made a request couple weeks ago to break it into three different PRs. This is, there were kind of like two things going on here. One is the template update, which is what you're talking about, Kevin. And I don't think we should merge it for that reason alone. But then there's also this three PRs. <laughs> it's kind of like three PRs into one. Is, to close it, this. is there anything in there that needs to be done that we should maybe, that, that we absolutely need to maybe pull out and put in the pull request ourselves? There was... Let's see, provide the GitHub issue link on the revising metric template. And it was changed to provide the name of the metric. And the website link. Yeah, so the, the mm -hmm. actu actually the, the GitHub issue link is the one that we want. Yep. So that change is actually that change is bad. So then this is good, the just updating copyright stuff. But yeah. And then this, I'm not sure. Oh, it's removal. So this is a this is a removal of this is like oh, that, some template text. Yeah, that's template text. Yep. So and this is in event accessibility. Which is gonna go through It'll go through the revision process at one point. Okay. Maybe we can just if maybe we can create the issue right now for event accessibility. Yeah. Update. Or and um, Right. Okay. And then also just overall update. 
you know what I mean? But we, but we want to, we want to send it through the revision process completely, right? The event accessibility. Yeah. Probably. So here it sure. is. Yeah. I mean, it's going to go through anyway. So it's one of the top ones. We might as well just make that a, yeah. maybe make it an action item to send that one through revision. Well, and I'm doing DEI stuff too. So I, I, I was planning on getting back to reviewing these now that we've been through a few. So, okay. So I'll take a, I'll go with that. Sounds good. All right. Um, so I'm going to close this. Whoops. And then event demographic changes. Is that what we were just doing? That was event. No, we just did event accessibility. Okay. So this would be So this is one that has an open issue associated with it. So I had taken a look at that one. You know what I mean? Like I had, there was this issue. Does it, does it solve all the requested issues? We don't know. So I had speaker and volunteer was one of them or attendee speaker and volunteer. I don't know. Could somebody kind of take a look at this one too? It doesn't look like it does resolve all the issues. Data blast reviewed. Fourth point in the objectives is redundant. Check out the spreadsheet remark. Could somebody take a look at this to see if so the request here is if somebody could take a look at the way that this is working is this is a metric. This is weird. Oh no, that's right. Okay, so this is an issue that's opened where these changes have been requested to be made on the old event demographics metric or on the current event demographics metric. This pull request is meant to attend to those suggestions. And so could somebody, would somebody like to take the action item to just kind of confirm that this pull request files changed that this pull request does indeed attend to these four things would somebody be willing to take a look at that i can do that okay that'd be great okay so then yeah thanks elizabeth Thank you, Elizabeth. To um, kind of confirm that PR changes on event demographics are okay. Okay, great. Thank you. 
Does anybody have any questions as to kind of what we're doing here? Just seeing, I know some of you may or may not have seen this workflow before. So I'm just making sure this all makes sense. And if you have questions. Hello, I have just a simple question. Yeah, yeah. Uh, the PR contains four steps. Isn't that, that PR too big or complicated? This PR, Mm, I, I don't think, know the limit of, to the, the yeah uh, to recognize the bigger PR or small PR. So is it that yeah. okay? To, I think in this then, case, yeah, no, I, I, this is a good question. So the way I understand the question, Taiwei, is is it okay to have a PR with four changes? Yes. In it? And I think in this case, it is okay because sometimes it's simply just updating a little bit of text or adding a date. You know what I mean? So the items are pretty small. Um, yes. but I think, so I think in a lot of these reviews, it's okay to just have a single PR against the suggested changes. So thanks for that question. Oh, I, I, yeah, I yeah. asked this, this question is because I see the PR you, uh, you closed just now. Uh, you, um, and that should be split, split up, right? Yeah, so that one, so the, that, that closed, one is too big. Yes. Yeah. So that one, uh, wherever it was, mm. closed up. Okay, so this one, the reason that we recommended closing it was because it was, it was not just four changes in one document, but it was a PR that was trying to change this document and a different document and another yeah. document and a, a fourth yeah, document. So, and I would add, I would add that those changes are not related to each other. So if the if the changes were all related to uh, the revision process for for that one metric, then then maybe this would be acceptable. Uh, but these are. This is seemingly kind of four kind of random changes in different files. Yeah. Thank so the, you. Thank you, Kevin and Matt. Yeah. Um, the understand. recommendation the recommendation would be to issue one PR for this. Hmm. One PR for this. <laughs> one PR for this. And one for this. So and Kevin's point is is well taken as well. Sometimes there are Times when one pull request will touch two documents, but it's it's when those two document when the PR is related across those two documents. So thank you, Tyway. Good question. Yeah. Any other questions from folks? All right. Take a look at our issues really fast. And I did just submit the uh, pull the change request for the uh, revising the uh, issue template. Oh, okay, cool. Thank you. Um, so I think I don't think much has changed here. Time inclusion for virtual events. Do we want to update this, Kevin, from last week? Should be good. Do you want to add a final comment like this has been completed? Oh, yeah, I need to double check the uh, I'm, I'm going to put that on my action item list. I actually need to I need to double check those check boxes just to make sure. OK. Uh, so I'll, I'll take another look at that and double check those check boxes. OK. Well, uh, thank you. OK. And I think there's really nothing. Um, Code of conduct ideas. I think we can close these at this point. Or code of conduct. Google summer of code ideas. Matt, are you on right now? Yes, I am. Sorry, I got a call. What's up? So looking at issues, this was one that you had opened. 
Can I close this issue? Oh yeah, go ahead and close it. This is something that we had not put into practice because we focused on the bot instead, I think. Okay, thanks. All right. Kevin, should we be closing the release notes? Yes. Okay. Yeah, those those get closed, and uh, you should you should create a uh, a new release notes okay. issue when you close this one with the uh, with the next date. Okay. Uh, Why don't we go ahead and do that? Looks like we had some housekeeping to do. <laughs> uh, where's my this gonna is that gonna be other feedback maybe <laughs> we need a blank one we need a new template uh i, I forgot what i was doing <laughs> release notes what would the date be on that 2022-10 okay good and then usually I like to put a little text this this issue was created to capture the release notes for uh yeah for release 2020 2022-10 Thank you. I don't think it needs triage. All right. It probably does need the metrics release tag, though. Yeah, I don't. Oh my gosh. I can do that if you want to keep going. <laughs> Thanks. <laughs> <laughs> trying to run the meeting and <laughs> do do the things yeah it's hard <laughs> all right um okay so let's go back to issues again i think all of these revising metrics are good project burnout maintainer wellness Does anybody remember this conversation? I mean, it's basically, I think it's revisiting the name project burnout that we have for the metric. Is that correct? And moving towards maintainer wellness? Yeah, that's correct. Okay. Hmm. My, okay, so. I haven't, I, I'll be honest, I haven't really thought about this much since this conversation. And we'll put something in a couple of weeks ago. Um, we, we use the term project burnout quite a bit, quite a bit. And in fact, as an example, I think Ruth isn't the stuff you're doing. I don't know if you're on Ruth. Um, isn't the GitHub maintainer month? Remember that one? Isn't that about burnout? It is. Ruth had to drop off, um, okay. but yes, it is. I'm, I guess I'm just a little hesitant to to make a change when, to be honest, it seems like burnout is a topic that gets talked about a lot and pretty easily <laughs> and what other people's thoughts are. I feel like it came up because someone wasn't certain that that phrase burnout would be like universal oh, okay i think if i recall yeah i was about to say the same thing okay uh, so one second so we had a um we had this burnout metric but it doesn't necessarily cover all, like we have a psychological safety metric which is like for crisis prevention and a lot of things like that, as I understand. But then we also have a burnout, which only kind of covers from a negative perspective. It covers how people 
interact with their projects and how it affects their wellness. Uh, I think uh, for me, it would be like a shift from like a, from like a negative, per, like a prevention perspective to a, uh, how do we, how do we improve the wellness of the people that are working here kind of thing, um, or, or help uh, foster that wellness within those people. Um, and then also, yeah, like, like you said, Elizabeth, uh, uh, someone had come and said, um, burnout doesn't necessarily cover all aspects of wellness and we don't have another metric that covers that right now. Okay. Um, I think that's that's well said that I, I agree that burnout is about kind of a negative connotation and wellness is definitely more positive angle. Yeah. Yes, I would say so. Um, <clears throat> all right, so I don't. Three ninety nine. I would really like to hear uh, Ruth's input on this, though, since this kind okay. of was like her, you know, she was the inspiration for this whole metric. So I'd really like to hear her perspective okay. on it. Definitely. Maybe we could wait till next week to talk about that it. Sounds good, yep. Um, okay, yeah, because you, you are right. It was Ruth that had brought the metric forward and the burnout metric forward in the first place. Yeah, and if, if we are going to change, we probably want to wait till after that session, just to, to like not confuse everybody. <laughs> not everybody. That's totally fair. Okay, great. Thank you. Um, maybe we'll do one more issue, then we'll move on. Um, Matt, do you want to, I don't know if you have any comment yeah. about this. Um, I think this is still good. Uh, we haven't had much movement on it. Um, this is something I just wanted to to add as its own section to the metrics checklist. My only concern is that the metrics checklist has gotten pretty long at this point. So it That's might right. be something to do like uh, after, like uh, as part of the review process rather than the checklist for releasing a metric. River. But I think it's I think it's important that we go over this because uh, now that I know the list and I, I'm familiar with the list, I see these words quite often. Okay. We we also, can. Go ahead. Sorry. I was just going to say I also had recommended um someone I can't remember who it was someone was looking for a way to contribute through the documentation, but they weren't part of any of our mentorship programs and just wanted to participate in like an unofficial capacity. And this was something I think I sent them to as a way that they could contribute by just looking through our documents, you know, at their leisure, it's, you know, um, and I showed them the list of terms. So I don't know if we wanna maybe, uh, just an idea to like maybe put this as a good first issue for someone that just wants like kind of a lightweight way to contribute. Um, I don't know. But I don't yeah. know if we wanted it to be more structured and like keep track of like what documents we've looked for and you know all of that or looked through and all of that. So um, just throwing that out there. So I, I was going to say we should definitely add this to the revision checklist and the review checklist. Uh, and I know that that list is getting longer, but I think one one checkbox with just pointing to the document uh, describing what the uh, inclusive naming is would be enough. Uh, I believe that, the, if I'm not mistaken, the inclusive naming um, initiative has a linter that you can run through, but I don't know the specifics of it. So that might be something else to look through. So we're not manually looking through all these documents, trying to remember all the words and looking for them. Um, so that might be something else that somebody could work on if they wanted, just to look at that linter and how that affects our docs or how we could use that. Could you, if you have that, Elizabeth, could you? Yeah, I'll have to dig it up, um, but I, I'll look for that for sure. Okay. Thank you. All right. Um, we'll stop on issues. Um, Let's see, let's go to badging. We have about 10 minutes. I'm gonna go down to this one first. So event badging, somebody had put that in there. 
Yeah, I did. I was just going to um, mention, just so everybody knows, we are um, indoctrinating three new reviewers tomorrow. We're onboarding them through a training session. So we'll have three more reviewers to our team. Hooray, hooray. And um, just a reminder, everyone is invited to this event badge reviewer appreciation, appreciation event, which happens on June 16th. It's just going to be an informal fun event where we kind of um, recognize our uh, reviewers, um, welcome our new reviewers, um, give a little history of the badging program and like what the next steps are going to be, where we're going with it in the future. So it'll be fun, not a big deal, like nothing, you know, just a little carve that out of a little fun part of your day if you would like to come. Everybody's welcome. And there's a link there to register. Cool. Thank you, Elizabeth. Uh, just if people aren't familiar, we have a, an event badging program where we provide um, DEI badges for events that uh, go through the process. And as part of that process, part of that review process, there are individuals who take a look at really the, the things that the um, conferences claim to be doing with respect to DEI and just kind of review to ensure that there's there's truth to those claims. I think each review of a conference maybe takes 10 minutes. Elizabeth, I mean, 15 minutes, 30 minutes. It's not yeah, terribly I'd long. Say maybe 15 is a good. Yeah. OK, it kind of depends on the event, but sure. yeah, a lot of them are um, know the badging pro pro project well, so they know exactly you know what we're looking for and they point us directly to what we're so we don't have to search very hard is what I'm saying. So if you're interested in, in becoming a reviewer and kind of joining the chaos community that way that would be wonderful um i don't know is the easiest way just to reach out to you on slack elizabeth I just dropped a link for the reviewer sign up form oh thanks and that should be the best uh, way i'm going to drop it in the notes too thank you all right great that's great that three new reviewers are joining i mean that's getting to be a pretty good group of people i think which is really nice yeah, it's it's really good because some people have um, like their availability has kind of dropped off. So um, we just want to always make sure we have new people coming in so that the burden is not always on the same people all the time. So. Great. That's a great update. Thank you. Um, so I just with respect to the badging updates for project badging, there was a if you recall, a, there's a giant sandwich. There's <laughs> there's a uh, there were a lot of really great suggestions that came from the meeting last time and I part of my action item is to include a lot of that commentary into the project badging program I haven't done that yet. I will say that one of the things that was done, and this was in response to Matt. You had suggested using GitHub as a way to do the application process is mm -hmm. that that's right, I think and so Ayush had put this together just as wow. don't worry about the content at the moment that'll this will have to change a little bit you know what i mean just in terms yeah. of like what the things are um, but is this kind of what you were what you had in mind when you were talking so one form it just kind of turns it into a markdown um it it, it, can, it translates it into that's beautiful that's what we were trying to do with the uh, um, with the forum on the website uh, but that was uh, difficult to accomplish smoothly so this is beautiful okay cool so the first reaction is positive from kind of where you were at from the event badging perspective and what this this could be all right great well just so you know it's it's here in the issue templates so if you ever wanted to take a look at that yeah, it's your first opportunity for upstream contribution from the project badging initiative. That sounds great. <laughs> it's pretty cool. So Matt, would the would the hope be, or Elizabeth, would the hope be for event badging to move away from the web form and to yes. just do something like this? Yes. Is there a, is there a reason we can't do that like sooner than later, Matt? See, let's do it like as soon as possible. Uh, I, yeah. So uh, Elizabeth, you know, and some other people probably know too that the right now the um form is created in html with inline javascript and there is no script to update it so it is uh, the way we could get it established was 
very hard to update. So as soon as we can get this in and updated into the um, Google, the issue form, so that that would be perfect. Well, and it would be easier for the um, applicants as well because this the process is a little um, uh, what's the word smoother. I want? Yeah, it could be a lot smoother. So um, this would fix a lot of that. Okay. So, so just uh, yes. I'm, I'm not a. Uh, I'm not suggesting you do it differently, but I did just want to let you know that it is it is possible to create web forms on the website without uh, HTML code. So we, we have a we have plugins for that. Okay. So. Hello, can can anyone share the links? I, I'm interested in it. I'm interested in that. Yeah, yeah. Um, do you want the links to like yes. this issue template here? Yes, yes. Yeah, Thank okay. you. Yep. Could somebody grab that and just drop it into the chat in the minutes? It's actually, it's, I think it's in the minutes. It's right here. Anyway. Oh, I, I got it. And Great. I'll check it out. Um, and so then Matt and, or, yeah, Matt and Elizabeth, like you can just head over here <laughs> if you want to at least have some preliminary um, framework, a preliminary framework. For the event badging side of things and yes thank you. just to coordinate too we'll probably want to update the uh the website page instead of having submit your event and then you go through the application there we'll just have like a link <laughs> to the issue once that's done right yeah on. yep yep agreed okay and agreed elizabeth thank you ayush <laughs> for, for doing this this is great all right Maybe that uh, maybe that page that has the link could have some uh, uh, kind of knowledge, uh, some information and kind of facts about the badging program in general. So maybe maybe we could build out that page a little bit more. Yeah, that sounds like, good. Yeah, because right now it has uh, information, but it still says diversity and inclusion, like with the ampersand, which make, which is a big signal that it's old information at this point. Yep, totally can do that. Um, right on. Thank you for that. Hi, Sierra. Yeah. Okay, my microphone just doesn't seem to be activating. Nope, hear um, you just fine. In terms of project badging, can have we figured out? I was gone last week. I was on vacation and no communications. So I'm wondering if we had changed the date of the badging meeting in order to start planning some of this so that we could do it alternating weeks with event badging and project have, badging yeah we haven't done that so no, we were gonna wait until after the reviewer event happened and then i think change okay. that cadence i think that's what we decided all right i just wanted to check on that. I feel like I've missed a lot in the last week. Well, last Katie, last week, if you go into the minutes, we did spend quite a bit of time on just kind of talking through it in this meeting. So okay. there, are, this is what you see. I don't know if you can see my screen, but what you see like below here, this is certainly not like must be put into practice. These were just a lot of comments and really good ideas that people had last week. That looks great. I will take another look at that. Okay, thanks. You can also watch the recording too, Katie. I can link that. I tried to be on this, but I did not have enough cell phone reception in the middle of a campground to even get out a text message. So I said, oh, well, and yeah. I put my phone away for seven days. That sounds way better. <laughs> and I hope it was a good camping trip. Oh, it was wonderful. <laughs> nice. Um, and you can learn why there's a sandwich here too, if you go back to the minutes. So, <laughs> um, we had badgers in the last meeting before that. So, <laughs> we're just picking a new picture now. Sandwiches and badgers. Yes, that's right. We must be driven by <laughs> strange imagery. Um, and then just kind of a last note here, there is a burnout and mental health session. Is it yeah, Ruth wanted me to just, uh, or wanted us to just remind everybody that, um, that that was happening. And it's, you have to scroll down a little bit. Um, 
and this, this page was actually really confusing for me. The date is like listed above it, which I totally missed the first time I saw it. See the June 17th. There you go. Um, I missed that the first time I saw that, but, um, anyway, that's where you can register, uh, for the event. And then I also put a link to the agenda in the minute meeting, mi meeting minutes, <laughs> the minute meeting. Um, so that if you're curious and you want to see what we're going to be talking about, that's, that's what it is. That's, Another is this on the chaos calendar yet? It is. Awesome. Another question. Um, are, is anybody from this call going to be at Open Source Summit in Austin this month? Yes. Yes. Yes, I will be. So many yeses. Many, many yeah, yeses. Right. It would be good to find a time maybe if we could all meet up for yeah. lunch or something. I live right up the street from it, so I will be there for sure. Oh, so you're local also. I'm in New Braunfels. All right, yeah. I'm North Austin. Okay, cool. Right on. That's probably something we should talk about in the community meeting too, like a some larger chaos event. Because we don't have chaos con larger event meeting like a get together you know what i mean like lunch or dinner or something like or underground tours <sighs> things like that no underground and yeah. often but there are two ghost tours yes, okay well that sounds that sounds pretty cool um all right well we, we do the, the bat tour well oh, oh, definitely oh. the bat tour the bat night and, at the bat bridge oh yeah bats and ghosts <laughs> i'm not familiar with these traditions you don't know the bat bridge no uh -huh. oh. youtube uh, yeah you need to look that up we usually okay. do the bat bridge and then go to chewy's down the road for dinner it's like the local tex-mex place that's the all to do in austin that sounds like we've just planned the uh the there you go chaos yes. get together event bats and chewy's <laughs> <laughs> All right, everybody, we made it through the agenda. Last call if anybody, oh no, Christy, call. never mind. You're it's closing there. time. There's a dog. All right, thank you. <laughs> thank right, you, thanks, everybody. everybody. Bye. Bye, Ryan. Bye. See Take ya. Care. Bye. Bye. Bye.